before you buy that $39.99 wish wig that you saw circulating in that Instagram ad, I want to caution you. You got to shop smarter, okay? It's National Consumer Protection Week. I don't want you all to be swindled. I want you to use India Ari's internet to the best of your ability and make sure that you are in the know. And definitely follow my first wig on Instagram. I'll have all of their official websites, all of their official email addresses so you guys can cross-reference. I'm going to keep this video up so you guys will be able to see everything from start to finish. But if you want to learn even more tea, some of the tea that I haven't even seen the girls and boys talking about, keep on watching. It's National Consumer Protection Week and I want to arm you guys with information and one of the basic things that you got to start doing is research. I want you to research the names of these companies on Google, YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. You want to see about their presence across different social media platforms. It's important for you to stay in the know because companies are banking on your ignorance. They're banking on the fact that you're going to impulsively invest and you won't even second guess it because number one, you see a face, a familiar your face and so you you know you associate trust and integrity with that particular person their image their likeness and let's say that person is me you're like I've seen her reviews I trust what she's saying she gives true tea so I'm gonna invest I'm gonna buy and then you get that wish wig and it looks like the wig you know just went through a little bit of a hurricane got tossed in a fan and then thrown in the trash and then it was packaged for you to enjoy and you can't really enjoy it these companies are modeling their names after companies that we know and love to gain your trust to let your defenses down so that you can make that money it's all about the bottom line at the end of the day so i'm going to try to style my wig as i talk to you guys because of course i'm not excited to do this video but the truth is it definitely needs to be done and I'm glad I partnered with my first wig and while they told me to state the facts purely just the facts even though I am a little bit emotional I do have feelings I do want to kind of go off but that's not productive and I want to arm you guys with information so that you can be an informed consumer you can protect yourself you can save your money I don't want you guys to be getting swindled because honey it's a huge market for scammers it's such especially when they like permeate the hair industry and they really get a hold of you guys and they start to gain your trust by using false advertisements it's a lot of money to be made out of here thing is what these scammers are banking on is your ignorance they bank on the fact that you don't read they bank on the fact that you won't do research nor cross-reference they bank on the fact that you won't verify the legitimacy of the website they bank on you falling in love with the advertisement so much that you blind invest your money and they bank on that lapse in judgment they bank on your ignorance and they're willing to do anything in the game of playing to win it doesn't matter if you have to cheat or deceive all that matters is that you help them make a sale they've reached their bottom line and they can continue to grow and they can continue to gain the trust of a larger audience and they make more money and they continue to do this because it's just a vicious cycle again so i added some lukewarm water to my hair and i went in with the aussie miracle curls leave-in detangling milk this stuff is so good it's super affordable you can get it from the drugstore and you really kind of want to you want to lather it on okay i like to go in with a nice heavy hand applying it all the way from the knots to the very ends and then you want to take some sort of like detangling brush and you really want to work this product through but then you want to focus on the ends so they can be super curly so like look at this Mm, see how those curls spring back and this wig is a year old and it still looks this bomb this is why you want to invest i was trying to tell y'all y'all didn't want to listen to me this is the very same wig that i launched last year with my first wig when i did my third collaboration with them but anyway so let's say you're on instagram you're scrolling and you see the sponsored post by this new hair company that you've never heard of but all you know is that you see pink in the advertisement and she's wearing this gorgeous curly wig and the price tag is hitting for you it's like you know what i'm saying your pieces are hitting you're ready to spend that money but before you click on that sponsored ad to learn more or to shop now i want you to take the name of that company and put it into google and i want you to look at the search results that populate what kind of websites are coming up in connection with 
that particular hair company and are you finding that when you toggle the google results to videos or images that you're seeing that same brand name within the title of a youtube video or within the url of an image because you can also check you know the link of an image to see if it corresponds to that company there's so many ways i'm gonna try not to get too technical because you know but still so let's say you search it on Google, you find that scamyonce.com is coming up in the search results. You don't see any YouTube reviews. You don't see any images where someone has like a brand logo associated with the company. So you're a little bit confused. Right now, red flags going off, you know, boom, they're dancing around, they're jumping, they're slapping you in the face. But you know what, it's a light slap. It's not too hard just yet, you know what I'm saying? But you're like, ooh, I felt it. So then here's the next thing. You get into a space you're like okay i want to search this brand name on youtube you search it on youtube you're like okay because google could be playing you know what i'm saying search engine optimization is real but you still find that you can't find any youtube videos with this company's name in the title of the video or the description box now the red flags y'all doing the harlem shake together because at this point you know it's not real you know something is up so you're like mm -mm. I'm smarter than this okay so the next thing you know you end up finding that same image as a thumbnail for a youtube video but it's in connection or in partnership or in collaboration with a completely different company it's actually a video that taste pink did with my first wig but you see that that sponsored ad is not looking legit anymore now it's looking suspect and now your spidey senses are going off. And if YouTube videos do not come up that have that company's name in the title or the description box, back it up, okay? Now let's say you found this advertisement on Facebook and you're like, ooh, I definitely think, you know, this ad, it could be legit. But then you look upon further investigating and doing your research, you see that this Facebook page was created just two months ago. Do you really wanna buy a wig that costs $39.99 and boast that it's a human hair wig? It has all of the specifications that you ever envisioned for yourself. Like, girl, it's giving you everything you ever asked for. But do you wanna buy from a company that's only been in existence or only created a page where they have established a presence for just two months? start checking the date or the month in which the company started their Facebook page because that will let you know a lot about their longevity, their maturity, and whether you can trust them. Now, these companies are posting these fraudulent tags at the, you know, within their websites that they have Google trusted payment, that they are, are verified McAfee. Those are all things that you can include just with the image. It doesn't have to actually be verified within those particular associations. So again, they're using optics Okay, optics to let you lower your guard down so that you think it's legit. And the reason why some of these fraudulent companies like scamyonce.com that I use for example is coming up in search results with companies like My First Wig, RPG Show, or Her Given Hair is because when you create a website, you can create tags for your website and you can include the names of more well-known hair websites so that you get more traction, more traffic to your website. People learn about you faster and they see like, well, if I can get this same wig that I saw Kay wearing, for just $39.99, I'm gonna go with the cheaper option, but what you don't know is the fraud behind it, the scam of it all, okay? So let's say you finally search the fraudulent hair company's name on Instagram. You search it, you go there, and you see that a lot of their followers are either bots or other hair companies that you know and recognize. Again, those red flags, at this point, you know what I'm saying? We, we doing a whole showtime dance, and so, they're letting you know that's a red flag but also when they're posting pictures of certain creatives and influencers are they tagging the influencer in the caption or the photo if they never tag a specific person in the caption or the photo so that you can tap it to see it scam I think it's a scam. When you find one hair influencer on Instagram and there's a drop down button of other people that you can follow, I'm gonna need you to check out those people that Instagram suggests because what they're doing is keeping you within a certain network. So then you start to make associations with certain creatives, certain faces who they work with. So one of the things that I wanna say about my first wig is that they do a good job of establishing their identity. They have a good following on Instagram. They have a good following on Facebook and they have links to all 
all of their websites so customers can click and verify everything. So if you're on Facebook and you click their link to their website, you will see a world of information and everything starts to make sense and they make it so that you can make that association. But what companies are doing now are taking the names of specific companies and creating a slightly varied version of that name. So you have instances where it's it may not be my first wig, it might be myfirstwig.org. You get what I'm saying? Did you did you see the slip up? So check your URLs. And one of the things when you guys want to report something to an influencer, to a hair company about their images or their videos being stolen, what you have to do is take the time to actually get that URL, get that link, create that hyperlink so people can study it and can look at it and use it to report it and make an infringement or a copyright claim. And you wanna log photos, you wanna log screenshots and dates, you wanna log, I mean, it's a little technical, but still, if y'all really wanna help, you know, cause that's the stuff that I have to do. But also what you can do is take the time to report these fraudulent websites to PayPal, especially if they use PayPal as a processing payment method. And what PayPal will do, will do their investigation on their end and stop all forms of PayPal payments processing on that website. So that's one thing that can help. Make sure that you have your invoices, your confirmation emails, everything to verify that you actually made a purchase when you make your claim to PayPal. You can also let the company whose the content actually belongs to, you can let them know so that they can take steps to make sure that PayPal is notified with, within that country of which they're doing business. So you wanna notify PayPal in the US or wherever you're located or also in China so you can make more of an impact, okay? The goal here is to help people get refunds. And again, so save all of your records, save all of your screenshots, save your correspondence, you know, and let people know. And if you guys wanna take it to the next level and like make videos and let people know exactly what's going on, that would be an even greater help. You don't have to put any like confidential information that might compromise the integrity of you, you know, and your information. So be very strategic about how you present it, but let people know so that the word can get out because it makes no sense. If you want to add to the conversation, if you want to add some tips, some things that you've experienced or ways to keep people informed, definitely leave it in the comments section. We all need to help each other. And don't forget to share this video so we can get the word out. And you can also, you can join the family, you can subscribe, you can give this video a thumbs up and kick it with me in the comments if you've ever been in a scam. I've been the face of the scam and multiple scams and it's not the best feeling. And so I'm so glad I partnered with My First Wig to finally give you guys true team.